Welcome to Fridays with Love, A Moment with God. To begin with, let us have the prayer to the most sacred heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful Jesus, I consecrate myself today and always to your most sacred heart. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I implore that I may ever love you more and more. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like yours. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, guide and protect us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, let us listen to the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them, and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! We have taken away the key of knowledge, you yourselves did not enter, and he stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord And for our reflection, we need to be truthful even when it hurts. There is nothing you can hide. There is nothing you can deny. The gospel is clear. We cannot deny our current state. We cannot deny our true identity. Jesus warns us not to be hypocrites. He knows us very well that even the hairs of our head have all been counted. God knows our worth. As, as Catholics, we have to own up of who we are. See our sins brought about by weaknesses, repent from them, and learn to be another Christ. God knows what we are capable of, more than what we can ever imagine. 
we are not simply us. We cannot deny the fact that we are all children of God. For our reflection question, let us reflect on this. Is there any truth that I am denying to myself, my neighbor, or God? For today's Gospel, we are reminded to be kind and be truthful so that our lives will be fruitful. And I would like to leave you with this Bible verse from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me.